Oh, and thank you to MyBookie for sponsoring this episode. At MyBookie, winning season means watching live sports and betting live sports all season long. Join now with promo code STANHOPE. Have you learned how to spell it? STANHOPE. And get your first deposit matched dollar for dollar all the way up to $1,000 so you can get a jump start on your winning season. You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. All right, I don't have any uh, intro music or anything, Doug. What happened? What's going on? Uh, one of the channels is dead. Oh, all so, right. So, the, so we have no intro music? No, it'll, it'll, it just, it won't be, I won't do the thing where I point to you. <laughs> all right, well, we're Except already I talking. Just pointed but to I'm you. just yeah. saying, our, our people, are the listeners going to be confused and terrified? No, they'll hear the no, intro music. Yeah, oh, the, they'll hear it. Yeah. Oh, so they have their own intro music. Each, it's, each, yeah. I don't know how is, podcasts work. Yeah, it's, it's specific to the listener. <laughs> oh, they have their own, like they choose their own? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do well, they, when they choose sign their up. own endings to the podcast? <laughs> like Dragon Quest? <laughs> People are requesting choose your own middle, too. <laughs> I don't want to listen to this shit. Talk about something else. Chad Shag is here, and Greg Chaley's here, and Tracy's on her way up, and Jenny's, of course, quietly in the background. Uh, as we uh, uh, glide into Monday Night Football, week two, uh, Chad's a football fan now, it seems. Yeah, I've uh, rekindled an old flame with football. Before we get to that, I just want to mention the eBay yard sale. I think we're going to, uh, I think we have a, a, a last call audible sale th- that we're going to do this week. Oh. Because Sam Talent left behind a t shirt, <laughs> his giant underpants, and his uh, COVID mask. <laughs> and I think that's a whole ensemble. I think that should sell that's well. Like a Halloween costume. <laughs> and I'll, you know what? Since I, I bought six copies of his book, I'll chuck in a copy of his book signed by me. Oh, nice. Yeah, and when you read uh, the chapter that uh, is Saturday night, well, you can read that in my voice because I did the audible version too. <laughs> the audio version. Let's not give credit where it's not due yet. Yes. Hopefully they pick it up. Uh, so yeah, that's that. But football, yeah, uh, I've had fun for two weeks because I get high both times. Cam Newton, yeah, fuck Cam Newton. Cam Newton giving Seahawks two zero. You yikes! Uh oh, here comes that Tracy lady. Mm. You were up late too. Yeah, I was high as fuck last night. I took two edibles, and two usually goes wrong. But I was laughing so fucking hard. You had Tracy and I fucking <laughs> cracking up. We, I was yawning, ready to pass out, and just didn't want to leave because you yeah. were just on a fucking roll, being goofy. <laughs> and that went on to like three in the morning. Oof. Oh god. Then I, I was out at twelve thirty. Yeah. <laughs> I got pretty drunk. Those drinks were really good yesterday. Uh, pomegranate. The pomegranate, but I'm glad there's not any more today. I <laughs> shit so much liquid this morning. <laughs> I somehow, I got up off the toilet and I had somehow shit liquid in between the toilet seat and the, the rim and it no. was leaking down the side. I the had to DMZ. scrub it out. Yeah. I was like, that's a first, man. That is drooling mud. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that at my house or your house? <laughs> I, well, I always leave early at your house because I don't want to shit at your house. That's why. Like I a take gentleman. off first thing in the morning to shit at my own house. <laughs> so that means the pomegranate's working. Yeah. <laughs> <That's his job. laughs> Did we talk about Michael Bean last week? I don't think so. I wasn't yeah, here. Right. I don't know. I don't know what we say. Yeah, he, him, and his wife Jen. They, they, uh, he's an actor in uh, Terminator and Tombstone and Aliens. The bits, bunch the abyss. of, bunch of yeah. movies, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, they moved to town and uh, they've been coming over for football, and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's hardcore. Uh, not anymore, but <laughs> he does. He doesn't drink any longer, but he has a million stories as to why. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't know he's not drinking. He fits right in with everyone. Yeah. yeah. That was a good couple. And so far as football goes, I bet uh, I bet uh, futures, I bet preseason, I bet Arizona to win the Super Bowl. And uh, I, I bet them to be the last undefeated team. 
And they're now 2-0, and and their next three opponents have a combined record of 0-6. <laughs> so I might fucking be yeah. good on that mm-hmm. bet. I've been doing well in my wagers. Just wish we started a fucking pool this year. Since we're going to be here for the whole season, I like I so rejected. I, in my head, football was never going to happen from you know, five months. I'm like, yeah. no, it's not but happening. But it's a blind draw. We, we could do it today. Right. No, but we, like, I, I, I would have wanted to do suicide pool. Oh. You just pick one team yeah, yeah. every week. I mean, I guess we could jump in and do that. We could but... do one for the rest of the season, like we do the the big Super Bowl one. The problem is, there's not enough people, and we want to keep it that way. I was we say, have, yeah, that what's the complaint? We have like football. It's been delightful. Uh, it's it uh, hand picked, cherry picked of the old timers, and socially distanced. So we can do the patio and have the high risk old fuckers and fatties in the in the fun house. And uh, even have an overflow uh, in the uh, in the living room attached to the patio, so you can talk through the window if you wanted to. But one <laughs> like fucking guy up shows up that's uh, unannounced and plops down between your six feet. All of a sudden, it's three feet on either side, and you're fucking ruining it for two people. And I'm, of course, too polite to tell you to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Stanhope was so polite. I was surprised to see that he the the newly remodeled fun house. He just gave it up for the to the high risk uh, folks to watch <laughs> football, and he sat and watched <laughs> football outside. Well, it's better air nice air guy. circulation out here. It's blowing all towards the door. Oh, plus they don't smoke. Yeah, they don't so, smoke. Uh, yeah. And I, I well, yeah, but I mean. If, if it was my house and I built a fucking bar with nine TVs in it and people came over, I'd be like, I'm smoking in here. And if you don't like it, watch TV out fucking side. Oh, I did until <laughs> until Fred started showing yeah, up. Yeah. And I, I, I know he's like 75 yeah. and he does yoga and shit. He's in good shape. And I don't want to be the one thing that ruined it for him. <laughs> but it's been fun. Uh, it's it's I know what day of the week it is now. Now that football's back on, because it's uh, is it Thursday? Is it Sunday? Is it Monday? There's football three days a week, and now I feel like I'm overburdened with projects. And didn't they have Saturday games last year too? Uh, they towards the, the end, end of the, of the season. season. Yeah. I remember a year. It was when the oh, it was when the. It was when we were doing every single game in here back when Jimmy G was around. And there was a week, like, it got towards the end of the season. I'm like, this is just too much fucking football. And that's when the uh, the Vikings dome collapsed. Oh, the snow. Yeah, the snow yeah, yeah. collapsed the dome. So they had to, you know, freak out and find a new place. to. to so there was Thursday night football. There's Saturday football, Sunday day night football, Monday night football. And then they added Tuesday football so they could replay that fucking canceled <laughs> Vikings game. And after that, I'm like, all right, I've... I don't even like football anymore. (laughs) (laughs) We're just doing this to say we watched every single game. (laughs) That was whenever I first started coming over, and there was a lot of people would come over here for football. I think we only had three screens back uh, then. uh, And and 30 fucking people. Yeah. And nothing on the patio. (laughs) Super Bowl week. Well, with Super Bowl, we put one out there, but not for for the, the weekly games. Yeah. It's going well. But I am fucking wrecked. Mm-hmm. Are, are we really out of pomegranate? No, there's still some. I don't know uh, if it sat out all night, though. Wow. After that commercial, you want to uh, Russian roulette? Especially some that it's sat out all night. No, no, I just That's took it out. Oh, okay, good. Out. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll kill the <laughs> pomegranate. Get her in the Bloody. Yeah, my, my tongue is, uh, you know, it gets kind of fucking starfishy. When you have too much sugar or too much citrus or too many gummy bears, or like the, the sour bears. Yeah, my tongue's like that from the fucking pomegranate, but why not? I think at some point yesterday, somebody threw you, I think it was Morgan Murphy threw you regular gummy bears so you wouldn't be tempted to eat your edible gummy bears all <laughs> over and over. <laughs> I, I, I do have uh, peach gummy rings on the list, so when I eat a edible peach gummy ring, I can continue to eat. Uh, it's like drinking ones. a glass of water in, bet- in between each drink. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right here. Yeah, there you go. I just went into the fridge to say, what, "What's my opening drink going to be for the podcast?" And I saw that pitcher of water, and I went, "Fuck it, That's what I'm having <laughs> with the with the pomegranate back, pomegranate vodka back." Pomegranate squozen fresh from uh, uh, Reverend Derek's tree. Talk about overstaying your fucking welcome. Derek was here well after football, 
And the only reason I didn't tell him to pound sand is because fucking Gil finally came over and he came over late and hasn't been here in you know, the entirety of, uh, of isolation. So yeah, he's hanging out. But Derek, oh, he's got the biggest fucking glass we have. It's like a, a 14 ounce fucking McDonald's glass and he fills it with almost all fucking vodka. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I had fun hanging out with Derek. I I didn't realize how much I missed him until he started telling me about how he's uh, he's gonna die soon because of <laughs> X-rays. Uh, he had too many X-rays, and now Wait, that, X-rays in the I, world. I, I, you or? Know, I don't. I, I I I didn't get into it. I I just told him. I said, "Well, I guess you shouldn't have had so many X-rays." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when we first started doing football uh, over here, long before the podcast, it was, a, it was just a handful of us, but there was a couple guys, Mikey Palmer, uh, who's now passed, and Dunwoody. We, they were old guys. They're in their 70s, and they'd just come over and pick through the snacks. like they were. So we, we, we'd call it senior lunch when we'd see them walking through the gate. Ah, senior lunch is here. Uh and now that's like Derek and Kenny. They mm-hmm. feel like the young senior lunch. <laughs> They're just here to, like, what's what's on the breakfast buffet? Came I didn't even see Grace. Kenny yesterday. Was he here? He was here for a little bit. Then yeah. he went to play uh, basketball oh, and said right. that he would be back. But I think somebody made him feel unwelcome, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, I just got a fucking head brush. First cocktail. Oh, is that your first one? Mm-hmm. Oh, we are starting earlier because of the the uh, Saints at uh, Vegas. At, yeah, at the at the Roomba. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? No, the but it looks like a Roomba. Their new stadium in oh, the, Las Vegas. The robot, looks, the, yeah, the someone container? said that it looks like it, the Death Star. Death Star Roomba. Ma- yeah, married a married with a Roomba, and that's pretty accurate. They're gonna be a big crowd over here for football tonight. You think? No, uh, Derek will be back. <laughs> Turn off the lights. Uh, backdoor will be here. He's a fucking huge Saints guy. Yeah. I think Gil's coming over too. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there'll probably be a few. He forgot that football started last week. Because he's been busy. Him and Lucy have uh, Redbone. And they, they've been busy down there. They, I mean, things have been going good for retail down there. And they're, <laughs> they're masked up. They're doing it right. But he totally forgot. It was like, oh, shit. It's time for football. <laughs> Until you uh, called him, Doug. Justin from the Shady Dell, his his wife, Claire, got a big write-up in the local paper. She's got a new 70s vintage shop. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I think it's her own stuff that she makes 70s style. I'm not sure. I didn't read the whole thing. So she's a maker, crafter. And then, yeah, Michael Bean's wife, Jen, she's opening a shop of mostly some children's resale. <laughs> There's definitely been some vacancies lately. <laughs> Oh, you mean business-wise? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah, fucking these. houses are selling, but businesses ain't opening. <laughs> or they are. I don't know if people go to them. Yeah, I, I just found out there's uh, masks aren't mandatory in Sierra Vista again. I didn't know that because I don't go anywhere and it didn't matter to me, but I just read that when I was looking through your paper there. Yeah, I drove, through, I drove in to get burritos the other day and they had a fucking BLM versus fucking Trump rally right there on the corner of 90 and 92 i was just reading the the paper they've got pictures so somebody from the the i don't know which whose sides or what sides or what they're called tell. i don't know what their names or their yeah. teams are or anything but one of them crossed over the to trump the, went to the blm yeah, side and yeah. got pepper got sprayed pepper sprayed there were Ooh, cops there tart. Oh, all right. oh shit i forgot the simple syrup oh good <laughs> oh. <laughs> wake you up yeah Alum. <laughs> they uh, blocked off uh, Taco Bell parking lot because, I mean, just the drive throughs open anyway. And it was just one side yelling across the street to the flag waving on the other side. And, and then, you, and then you know, they got people like, hey, sidewalk, I can walk on this side, you know, and they're flipping <laughs> off like the Taco Bell. Like it's, <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? I don't know. And I don't know who, what their point was. Because if they're with Trump, the Trumpers, then it's, go on the corner. Because it doesn't look good when there's, there's if only twelve people. Over there's there. no point to any of this. That's what makes it so funny. In my hometown, I saw they were doing a couple weeks ago a boat rally out on the uh, Roosevelt Lake, is a big recreation lake where I'm uh, from in Globe there. Yeah. And uh, 
we're supposed to have a hundred boats for Trump on the lake. And I'm going, for what? I don't understand what that <laughs> accomplishes and what, you know, I don't. But it is hot and we go to the lake every weekend anyway. I guess it's a reason <laughs> it's really to go just, to the lake, yeah. I know. But they could claim all the boats are theirs. <laughs> go to the lake then, fuck. <laughs> Or maybe they were just letting regular people know, hey, don't go to the don't, lake hey, this weekend. It's going to go. suck. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Now it has a purpose. Have you, you, you've been like camping and shit, right? Like recently? Yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, weren't you I don't tweeting know. pictures from camp? somewhere? We just went for a few days. Oh, no, I go, I've been uh, uh, going up in the mountains. I was going hiking. Jenny was taking me hiking up on the top of the Huachuca Mountains. Oh, wow. That's a nice area up there. Everybody's doing stuff but me. What? We went to the Shady Dell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We didn't podcast from there. We did issues with Andy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did a two night uh, vacation four minutes away. But we were, it, we were the only ones in the whole thing. Yeah. And then that weird thing later in the night, that couple who showed up. Yeah, well, there's a there was a police chase that we saw going through the the circle because the Shady Dell's right off the circle, right by the cop shop too, like oh, right a, across the circle from like, yeah, the so police station. We're watching, yeah. oh, fuck, there's a police chase in Bisbee, <laughs> and it, it it continued on, and then I get a text ten minutes later from Derek here in Warren saying I think it was a white Pontiac Sunbird and it was heading west on. Uh, <laughs> As though we'd it already had some had knocking. This conversation. I think it needs a tune-up. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming over next week. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was, I don't know what time it was. It was pretty fucking late, and this couple showed up. A uh, young black kid and a Hispanic girl who seemed like she was almost crying, and they just wandered into the shady dell, which there's no one there. We're the only people in the park. There's no office open. And they're like, hey. uh is this can you rent places here and i go well probably not at this hour and i was i was high and drunk and i i I, I go yeah the the office is closed and uh all right uh we got abandoned and they had something like their story went nowhere like it was about to be a story then then it trailed off and can we sit down with you we're in that gazebo in the middle of the park and yeah sure and then I just I, I went up let, let me talk to the maid the housekeeper she was there I like this is a couple and they're fucking stranded and they they want to rent a place and I'm too high to deal with it can you talk to them and she came down and brought them into a trailer and they were in there for like an hour and a half and then Justin showed up I go go check with on the her. maid yeah, yeah. Huh. He's sitting in a trailer and uh, he went in and I go, she, he goes yeah, I think they're getting high. <laughs> well, it, somehow it turns out that they had something to do with that police chase. <laughs> like, uh, they, it was their car that got stolen. I don't know. It was They had some fucking sketchy story, but they were definitely involved in that police no chase. No wonder they were, like, painted out slowly. Because they only given you enough no to, story. like, get your sympathy to, like, call up the manager to get a room because they were stranded. Oscar, they were stranded. That was true. <laughs> I'll just told them, ah, there's some cops walking around here looking for somebody. They'll probably be able to help you in a few. Just stick around a minute. They'll be here. And then I, I wanted, I, I wanted to ask, hey, do you have something to do with that police chase? But the kid was black, so I didn't want to like, like assume. <laughs> Clearly, you had something to do with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to sound like that. <laughs> Very odd to get stranded at the circle in the middle of the night. It's, yeah, at nine o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah. There's no fucking bus or anything that goes through Bisbee. Not even during the day. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there is the there is the Bisbee bus. Mm, yeah, but that takes you to Safeway and then OB. I, th- I think it does stop down there, but not at that hour. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you, you can pretty much get to the... Uh, I want to do that one. Like, if, they, if, if Christmas Day they were running the Bisbee bus, I think it would be fun to just all dress up as Santa Clauses and get hammered on the fucking Bisbee bus, just drive all over town. There's no drinking I, on the I'll bus. I'll say, I don't think what? they let you. Well, You're not even there's no to drinking to at fucking city council either, but we all had travel <laughs> I, mugs, didn't I we? started to say the same thing, and then I remembered all the times we've been drinking at non-drinking places <laughs> yeah. around here. Fucking, School grounds. Yeah, yeah. High, high school football game. Yeah. 
with a baseball field. Baseball field. Just walking in with a 12 pack of beer from across the street at the baseball case. field when you're not supposed yeah. to have anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to ask us to leave. We're the only motherfuckers here. And until they did ask us to leave, uh, and uh, we never went back. And baseball never came back. So fuck you. I still That's get deuce chills when I think of, the, of us when we were announcing the game. <laughs> And then got kicked out at the third inning. <laughs> yeah, that's still. I get a little shudder. I mean, we've been through a lot, guys. <laughs> that, was, that was that was pretty embarrassing. Oh. We didn't have the national anthem. That, that started. At. That started off the the. the, the, the I should have known then. This is not going to go well. Well, and Let's we showed up. We showed up with our own mascot to usurp their mascot. <laughs> There were a lot of missteps. There were a lot of missteps. <laughs> we walked in a little cocky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, can I have uh, vodka and that limeade and a splash of soda, please? Is lemonade? Is it lemonade? Yeah, yeah. whatever it Thank is. You, yeah. Trying to go easy tonight. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> NFL football, NBA playoffs, and college ball all at the same time? Oh, what? Winning season has officially returned at my bookie. It's time to celebrate the season with some extra cash in your pocket. Join now with promo code what? Stanhope. Yes, Stanhope and get your first deposit match dollar for dollar all the way up to $1,000 so you can get a jump start on your winning season. You win for once. From money lines, spreads to game totals and championship winners. If you love sports and your heart's still beating, they've got something for you. Plus, it's not too late to get in on the Super Contest. For only $10 entry, you can have a chance to score yourself a bigger slice of the pie in the My Bookie Super Contest, which features over a thousand... Wait, I almost said a thousand. It's a hundred thousand? What? A hundred thousand in cash prizes? Every play you want to make is waiting at my bookie. Make your picks, win big, and collect your cash. Your winning season begins today. Only at my bookie. Hey, this is famous comedian Anthony Jesselnick asking you the question. Do you like ads for other podcasts while you're listening to podcasts? Hell yeah, you do. Because this is an ad for the Jesselnick and Rosenthal Vanity Project, JRVP. Junior Vice President. Hells yeah, back from the dead. We left the company we were with because they sucked. And now we're here with All Things Comedy, which rules, but only because we came to them. I don't know what All Things Comedy was before this, if they had other podcasts. But you don't have to worry about that now because we're here. We're here to ascend you into heaven. <laughs> Every week, my best friend, Greg Rosenthal, best friend. I'm godfather to both his kids. That's right. We talk about our lives. I don't tell anybody about my life. I'll tell you and Greg. We talk about the <laughs> darkest stories of the week that I enjoy making fun of. Then we recommend some books, and then we peace the hell out. Because I don't want to waste your time like the podcast you're listening to now. <laughs> Download, upload, do it. Winning season returns at MyBookie. Winning season means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means insane player props, epic bonuses, and the craziest cross-sport wagers. At MyBookie, winning season means watching live sports and betting live sports all season long. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are starting where they left off, and the NFL has officially returned in a big way. That means action-packed Sundays and huge cash prizes, week in, week out. Get in on the action. Use promo code STANHOPE and double your first deposit. New players get up to $1,000 in free play, designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet. Bet with the best this NFL season for your chance to win big. Use promo code STANHOPE and double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today, only at MyBookie. Yeah, I don't. I, I feel no compunction to like host football anymore, especially when I can't be in the room. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, when this it's it's worked out that way with Super Bowls where that Super Bowl, I think it was me, you, and Becker, where we just sat inside because we had the funhouse going, the patio going. So everyone at one part of the party thought we must be at the other part of the party, and we just sat inside and watched it by ourselves. Pretty no. autopilot after kickoff, you know, the food's either going yeah. or it's already out. And, yeah. Yeah, we had the whole had every every good intention. All right, hey, listen, since there's only a handful of people this year. We're not going to do food like we always did. Just bring whatever you want for yourself. No, that didn't happen. I'm yeah. fucking up at 7.30 cooking. <laughs> Neighbor Dave's bringing fucking chili. I remember that whenever I first started coming around, when all there was all those people here, there would be so much fucking food mm-hmm. here. You'd have to have those pop-up it was tables. Ridiculous. Yeah. There was a lot of people, but there was way more food. Yeah, and a lot of fucking dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave that. The, the, the casserole is only... You guys can finish that up. And All right, that means I have to do the fucking plates and the Tupperware of whatever you left behind. Well, that's why... Once, one Super Bowl, Chase and I ordered a bunch of like Chinese takeout containers so that when people left, they could take stuff with them. We did that that one year, and we never did it again. But yeah, that at least clears out all the food so you don't have a bunch of food sitting around when we have the like we had that uh, dart night over my house uh, a couple weeks ago and we when we have it's not very often but when we have people over jenny just makes shit for everybody and sends everybody out with stuff so we don't have shit left over which is great yeah uh, the amount of 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 like if i was being monitored for this bar rescue the amount of egregious health code violations that i make on any given Sunday, <laughs> yesterday I came in. I went to put. Why are you put, telling us this? Well, the fucking people. We eat here. Did you, you, did, you didn't know this. This is the only restaurant on the property. <laughs> yeah, no one gets sick. That's yeah, why that I always is. call bullshit on those fucking restaurant shows. You're gonna poison people. Fuck you. Well, those are normal I came in people. yesterday. I put uh, I put water in the Keurig, the coffee maker, yeah. and I noticed this fluttering in there. I thought, oh, it's a fucking fly in there. So I just I turned my back to everyone and I just fucking reached in and flung it out. It was a bee. It's fortunately, a bee? Yeah, fortunately I didn't get stung. But yeah, fuck, fuck it. It's gonna be boiled water when it yeah, comes it's, out. It's over 120 when it comes out of there. So yeah, of course. Yeah. I what, I'm gonna throw away a curry machine. All right, you- <laughs> I, 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 it's a bee is not bad. A fly would have been more disgusting than a bee. I had we were making wings a while back, and Jenny had a thing of a cup of honey sitting there, and a fucking bee flew and landed in the honey and got stuck and couldn't get out. And I rescued it and I put it outside. So hopefully, it would be able to live. And then I was like, well. If it- Fuck, it's honey. I, how's it, I guess honey. touched it before. Yeah, honey's not bad if a bee lands in it, is it? I don't think so, yeah. It's, it's weird because I, I, I always heard that you get more flies with honey. Yeah. <laughs> well, just going to let that one sit there. I like that Chad thinks that if it was a fly in there, you would not have uh, just scooped it out. No, no, I still know he would have scooped it out. It just would have been more disgusting. Same story. <laughs> just, it was a different, different animal. <laughs> I don't serve spoiled food. You buy it. But <laughs> <laughs> that's I, I do miss that Safeway of my discount meats. That leg of lamb that I barbecued yesterday, 30% off. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. No kidding. Well, that's a premium cut, though. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not hamburger. It's green. Oh, yeah, I was feeding mm-hmm. some of that to the dog. Yeah, that's when I went in. And Tracy yeah. says, I, I said, hey, is there any lamb left? She goes, well, there should be. If Doug stopped feeding it to the dog, and I fucking got up, went right in there, and grabbed the rest of it, and took it downstairs. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Let me take the lamb out of the dish, and he he licks was, the dish. It was it was just one slice. It was fucking tax. Dog was hungry. <laughs> yeah, that dog, dog was, was high. <laughs> that dog was high. Dog farm, fucking Jack. Morgan Murphy's Yappy Dog and then Big Fat Awesome Backdoor Mike's Pit. I went back on the tape to see uh, if uh, Jack is the dog that was shitting on the fake grass. Because there were two. Yeah, those are tiny poops. Yeah, yeah. so it is him. What? Yeah. But it, it is. Uh, it was three times in 24 hours that dog shit on that, that our nice artificial turf. So. And, and that stays amazingly nice somehow. 
Like it's artificial. Well, I don't know if you fucking get out there with a leaf blower with when a I'm fake sleeping or and some fake fertilizer. <laughs> we did. We did just have a good day. This just reminded me. We had a, a good time laughing last night after you left because uh-huh. Tracy is like, if anybody has to shit, you shit on that group. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think. <laughs> Because I went off, I went off the handle. Yeah, Shaylee yeah. was mad about the shit on the fake lawn, but I, guess, I, I said if you guys think if we take a shit on that fake lawn, and Shaylee's not going to use the videotape to screenshot that picture of me taking a shit and post it. <laughs> just Doug and Doug and Tracy are holding we're, up a sheet, and you can't even see you can't even see, you can't even see Chad come into view because he's off frame, and then he shits, and then he leaves, and then they drop it like ta da! Big shit there. <laughs> All three of us have our backs to each other just <laughs> shitting one pile it's the butcher of black knob oh mommy uh, <laughs> i get it analyzed i forgot yeah. who did it oh uh, you'd know you'd, you'd have to clean mine up with a well, hose yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you leave more water in the artificial turf than anything else from the pomegranate. is that artificial turf turning brown is it dying what's who happening slaughtered a turkey right here jeez <laughs> i thought you were gonna say you pulled up the guys on the security camera that were lurking out front yeah. this morning murphy called me up to drop her off to pick up her car at the shop and i went to put on my shorts and fucking looked at the security camera and two guys parked and they came right up to the security camera and were waving in it and then walking up and down hoping i'd come out and uh i was way too hung over and they looked like way too big of bros <laughs> yeah, that fucking spring br- break swagger. What like, time was this? Noonish. Was... Oh, wait, no. When I saw you, it was later than that. It was ten thirty or eleven? I watched some flick. It was eleven thirty. It... All right, yeah, yeah. It's around then. Yeah, I saw that, so I came up so they could see someone in the yard, and then uh, they just said they were looking. So, oh, you talked to him? Yeah. Well, I mean. I don't want him to think there's no one here. Yeah. <laughs> so I see him, so I go out there. <laughs> yeah, they were just, I, don't, I didn't know they had been parked for a while, though. I just. Loiterers. Yeah, we're on a little. We're on kind of a high alert, so just paying attention. Fucking... It's around football, you know? Yep. Old, old, uh, old, uh, episodes of the yeah. Rogan podcast. Yeah, that one time fucking 10 years out. ago I said on Rogan. So like you just let anyone over? Go, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I didn't say I was inviting everyone in earshot. To, or maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I said that. <laughs> but if you're just getting up to that fucking Rogan episode, you get a lot more yeah. to go. <laughs> it gets weirder. <laughs> He's getting so much fucking blowback from on Twitter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I said the other morning I, I was after a double edible night and I just woke up still high and I went on Twitter and the top trending thing was the Rogan hosting debate. a debate. With, I don't know what uh, happened. What it- he had said on someone's podcast that uh, he de- uh, hosted debates on a four hour podcast, just the two candidates and him. Uh, uh, and then the, the guy whose podcast it was tweeted about it and Trump tweeted back saying I'll do it I'm like fucking I'm too high to even read this uh, Rogan hosting a presidential debate and and Trump says yes I, I for one think it would be a great idea Fuck because yeah. the end result of that would be hey we gotta scrap these two guys and just get two new guys to vote all together like we don't we can't deal with <laughs> I, can you imagine either one of those guys trying to talk for four hours off the cuff no way but well, it's almost like Rogan gets so big that he no longer has that comedian's out of the I'm just joking card. <laughs> like he's taken too seriously where well, he, he's a he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't take himself no, any he, more seriously than he ever did. He, he had to post a video the other day apologizing for yeah, something he said. Yeah, it was a, a first. I, I was like, whoa. Usually he just says whatever the fuck you want. Well, yeah, last time I talked to him. Everybody uh, takes it with a grain of salt. It's a comedian. Fuck. Yeah, it's not his fault. He's huge. (laughs) (laughs) He'd be saying the same thing for fucking 10,000 listeners or as he would for millions. Do you think it's that thing like uh, Nirvana all of a sudden attracting (sighs) listeners who were the guys that beat the shit out of Kurt when he was in high school? But it's like, but they're buying records. But it's like, but uh, it's not Kurt's fault, yeah. right? 
Yeah. But it is one of those things like, ah, man. The the, the influence. Is, <laughs> Same guys, is, too. The yeah. Sideways ball caps, jersey short type. <laughs> what, but he, he called me, uh, and it's always an hour. I don't talk to him often, but when you do, it's it's a while. And uh, he dropped a couple of conspiracy theories on me. Have you read about this one? Like, he loves them. I don't don't begrudge him, but I, yeah, a lot of times he he jumps before facts come out. It was the one where they're selling kids through some like uh, some high end oh, yeah, uh, yeah, cabinet yeah. maker or yeah, something. It was a uh, it was a it was industrial shelving that was super expensive, and then the the QAnon was like, no, that's code. This is how you buy a child. You get a kid. In today's day, yeah, all these you guys, could buy them online. Yeah, these cabinets are named after missing kids. Yeah, those. Oh, the, the brand name. Those. That's how you order the kid. It, that's the kind of kid you want. Yeah, it's it's fucking crazy. So I just wrote down the name. It was Mayfair. I think it's Mayfair oh, yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Wayfair. 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 Uh, and I wrote it down. Two days later, I got around to actually googling it, and by then it'd be completely debunked yeah. <laughs> on Snopes and. But yeah, he he says shit a little too quick. He was the one that initially got me on the we fake the moon landing, which he's since went. Yeah, I guess that's all bullshit. Well, I, th- anyway, I think now it's, it's you know even though we're in the information age, we've never been dumber because they, I'll see people will post uh, on uh, I've seen on Facebook where they'll post something. And it's immediately, it has the thing going, hey, this is fucking wrong. It's already been fact-checked. So this is, you know, erroneous information. And they immediately will be in the comments going, see, it's a cover-up. They don't want to find it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. There's just no yeah. fucking, no reasoning with stupidity. It's the, it's the day of, of, of information. <clears throat> it's the information age. And yet, you people do less to confirm that something's right yeah. when they have everything yeah. on their phone. To actually go in and look into it, it's the, uh, the fucking is worst. Crazy. Is the uh, like I get memes attributed to me with my picture and quotes of <laughs> yeah. shit I've yeah. never said. Yeah. Like, uh, I make those stuff. all the time. Not, not even remote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes you want to make memes and oh. like just put some other comic. You don't well, like. I, you should get Brett Erickson on the line. That's yeah. why I said I think that's become the whole point of memes now. I, we we missed the first boat on memes. They're on the third or fourth boat already. That's. Uh, they're ironic on four different levels that we won't even understand now. I, I couldn't even have someone explain to, <laughs> to me. I'm just, I just lose interest. Brett Erickson makes memes quite a bit. And we've, we've been talking about it on Issues with Andy quite a bit because the three of us don't give a shit. And, and it's just Brett yeah, He's trolling us to... with his memes. He's loving it. I, I figured it out. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Fucking We're... gifs. Gifs are the that's lowest the other form one. of GIFs? fucking comedy. Do you mean gifs? No, no, it's gifs. Oh. Are you trying to say giraffe? I, I call it whatever the other guy called it is how I usually fix that. I just wait for somebody else to say it first. I go, yeah, the gifs. That's what they are. <laughs> that's a good drink, Trace. It's not yeah, too sweet. Minute, yeah, I, that's what I need after last night. <sighs> Murphy will just sit there uh, for a whole football game and just take pictures of her dogs and put filters on them and take more pictures and then make I don't know fucking memes or gifs or I don't know photo albums like the whole time. Is she like how long have you had that dog? She did the same thing. I mean, I used to do a joke about my mother showing me pictures of her cats with the cats right there. I can look at the fucking cat. <laughs> you mean this cat? Yeah. I, 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 doing I, she, the exact same thing that it's doing in the picture. Yeah, she's showing me pictures of that she just took of her dog sitting in the chair next to me between us. I'm like, it's, yeah, I know, it's right here. Oh, well, look, I put a filter on it. So now his oh. hair is a little red or something. I don't know. <laughs> Send me those. I'll put a Shaylee challenge cannonball. There we go. It's like bingo. I don't know how either of them have space in their phone. Like, when you'd have bingo, hey, take a picture, and she'll take like 40 she'll to keep make her sure you. thumb on yeah. the thing and it'll go. <laughs> yeah, with the iPhone, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how her phone still works, how it's not just that is, completely. That is full. odd. Because my phone. Because you don't fucking, take a lot of pictures, well, and I've had yeah. to clean off your phone a well, couple I, times. Should I tell him or do we just let it go? He won't but, listen. If you have an iPhone, you have an iCloud account and all of your pictures get uploaded to the cloud. They don't take up all the space oh. on your phone. But right. so you don't know that she had. Oh, I think I did create the, the uh, not the the entry level, but the extra one. Yeah. Yeah. So she's. Yeah. I think I pay 50 cents a month or something yeah. for a. It's a, not, a, it's not a bad. Thing. Yeah. Explain this to me. 
how is it like even Tracy and Bingo? They are like and you. Uh, I can't get on the internet here. Like you're trying to Google something. Like I just fucking Google stuff. Like I go on my phone and there's a Google bar, and I search things. I never get on the internet with my phone. I think you're mistaken. We don't get text messaging. <laughs> oh shit! It just I just said Google too much or something. Yeah, you, my you, phone uh, turned on. You started talking to it. We did a thing today where uh, we've got Alexa in the in the in the house, and I go, Tracy, just don't say Alexa and ask a question. But just when you're in a room by yourself and there's an Alexa in there, talk about booberry cereal because that's such a weird thing that yeah. I'm going to wait and see if it comes up. Yeah, like an ad. When 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 I and it did, I'm sure. I just yeah. started doing it today. I'm like, hey Tracy, do we have any booberry cereal? Because I think those things are listening oh, all the yeah. time. I and then they say they're listening all the time, but for informational purposes and how to serve you better. They're, they're getting tired of people not voluntarily putting them in their house. I went on YouTube one day and it goes, hey, would you like a free yeah. Google Nest Mini? They're fifty dollars if you buy them, but we'll give you one for free. And I and I go. Do I got to sign up for shit? What's the catch? Nothing at all. Home. They send me a free thing and you plug it in. Google Home? And it's a you? Nest Mini, Nest. It, but it, it reacts with Google Home. Yeah. It's just a little tiny Bluetooth speaker. But you can tell it to to the kids. Take, hey, Google, tell me a joke. And it'll tell them a joke and stuff. But we've been sitting there before just watching TV. And all of a sudden, it'll go, I can look that up for you. And we're like, oh, we weren't talking to you, <laughs> motherfucker. That's, I'll go over and plug it. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you it know. doesn't help. Unplugging it doesn't yeah. stop it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's bad uh, uh, probably. You're probably right there. <laughs> I just want it to shut up. I don't have any secrets, so I don't care. If we had secrets, we'd have a better podcast. That's true. <laughs> right, I tell them here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Ah, I fucking, yeah, that was an uh, extraordinary day of drinking. Uh, by recent standards and uh, today I got a bit of the booze sweats and you just immediately think oh is that fever is this it did I just dismiss it did Kenny get too close was I too tender with Kenny a couple people expressed concern about Kenny being around and I I tried to softball that to Kenny and well, what does that mean? What is that? I can never come over for Fico. We're just going to have to get you. Wait, you did the, the oh. Derek voice for Kenny. <laughs> Interchangeable. No, I said uh, I was doing the whining, crying Kenny oh, okay. voice. Why? What did I do? Okay. <laughs> it's very close, similar. <laughs> well, I'm not a fucking character guy. You're no Shane Gillis. Nope. Shane Gillis, who couldn't do a goddamn Norm, Norm MacDonald impression. Any, uh, any uh, update on that? Well, when I tweeted about, oh, I don't know, I uh, I, was, I, I did retweet someone who tweeted, hey, Roseanne Norm, you have to read this. But when I tweeted, hey, uh, you left your shirt here to Sam Talent, Shane Gillis goes, oh, I want it. Like, so now I'm hoping it's selling his underpants and his fucking mask on eBay uh, with the T-shirt will get Shane Gillis to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already saw on Twitter uh, whenever... Uh, 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 you said uh, Tim Dillon had tweeted, you know, when oh, I, yeah. I, I want to go. Comedian Tim yeah, Dillon. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to go smoke socially distant cigarettes with Stanhope or whatever it said. Uh, Shane responded and said, I left a t shirt there. Grab it for me when you get there. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah. I got I to gotta reach out to Tim Dillon. Uh, he's in LA too. Yeah. But he's yeah. playing Phoenix. I think it's October 9th. Uh, I looked at his schedule. So I got to contact him, see if he wants to come down. He might not have any idea how far that is. Yeah. People, yeah, you know, like when Manson, hey, I'm, I'm playing your town. Well, Phoenix is a fucking eight hour round trip. So yeah, that's people think that they're in Arizona. They're close. No. So hopefully he knows. Guest house is open if you want to come down a night early. For now. Specifically to Tim Dillon only. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's needed. <clears throat> I kind of look like half a cop anyway, and my vehicle's black. I'm in a, haunt, a black CRV that a, 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 a rent a cop might roll up on. Yeah, the, the kind of Honda that a uh, Oregon cop would drive. You right, know? exactly. One that uh, you know gets called into the office a lot and threatened. <laughs> you know, I need your badge. <laughs> 
You can't drive. Listen, drunk. Lieutenant, I do things a little bit differently, all right? Then he, he ran over two off people. to his CRB. He ran over two people at the softball tournament. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Number one, 13 minutes in. I love that Andy changed locations, but I still have. retains the, the poor integrity <laughs> of the last location. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's me, Brett Erickson, from the Issues with Andy podcast. Uh, we love you, killer termites, and we hope you'll tune in and uh, check us every Friday, Issues with Andy, on uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, look, it's, it's, a, it's not a podcast, right? Isn't it a vodcast? Bod- you're right. For once, Andy, you're right. It's a vodcast, <laughs> which means it's a podcast it. fueled by vodka. <laughs> If you love the shit you're getting here on the Doug Stanhope podcast, get more shit with us on Issues with Andy on YouTube every Friday. And yeah, well, you keep listening and watching or however you do it, and we'll keep shitting. So the happy hour. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chad, you're going to do the next one. I, I spaced it. I forgot to give these guys the link. One the what, link one out. job over here didn't send me a link. So uh, I was just sitting there drinking in front of my computer, uh, wishing I could talk to you guys. Oh, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I saw that later again. Don't you remember? I was like, where's Chad? And then other people were like, hey, is Andy or what, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, you know, we're going to probably do something next week with him. But yeah, Doug, I, don't, I can't believe Chad's not on here yet. Well, fucking stupid me. I never sent them the link to do it. And it, since it's Patreon oh, Chad's only, not Patreon. No, <laughs> tight wad. I, I, don't, I don't get paid enough. <laughs> I think that's a trend going around. <laughs> yeah, this week we'll do. Uh, I'm not that big of a fan. we being honest. <laughs> you, but the first week you did, uh, you were in the chat and you were fucking lighting it up in there. Well, you sent me a link yeah, yeah. and I enjoyed that All right, because I, uh, I said that. I said. <laughs> I fucked up. I know, but I like to rub it in because yes. you don't fuck up very often, and it's fun. <laughs> yeah, the fucking happy hours have I've liked a lot. Yeah, we we are talking about uh, making those a higher. No, pay no, they're, they're from now on. They're five dollar and above All in right. that tier. We have to. That's I mean, because we did three and a half hours. Yeah, that also. Uh, the fucking Greg, Greg our, our moderator, who's sitting there, East Coast with a job, <laughs> and he's, he's like. Great. A, we get to the end. Oh, before I said, we're probably going to kick out around at about 90 minutes and uh, we'll just, we'll call it from there. And he goes, yeah, yeah, no problem. And then it's like three hours, 17 minutes in. I go, hey, we're going to call it. And then we call it. I go, hey, Greg. He goes, yeah, I got to go. Just fucking <laughs> done. And I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He's East Coast and he's, He's got a, a TV shit. job that I knew was coming up, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that guy. Yeah, no, I get my pints, and I forget that he's going to yeah. do this. You know. yeah. no, fuck it, we'll go forever. I'll, I'll definitely on his do the, uh, the, the chat on those. It's fun for, yeah, yeah. Me, to, for me to chill out. And then, too. And you can hear people, everything while you're doing that. Too, I can hear it. I can yeah. watch you guys. I can hang in the chat. But then I was telling Stanhope last night. Uh, like if we can see because people have interesting fucking stories oh, fuck yeah so it's you know we figure out who can tell a story and who's got to like weed them out so we don't have to listen to people you know well I mean I guess that's dicky to do but I mean we, we, we were going to implement a clock or something yeah there you go that's a less that's, dicky thing to do well, be like, well you don't tell a good story you suck fuck you you're well, not half, halfway through the podcast it was this last one we did you weren't there for some reason um <laughs> Instead, we started to do a clock on my phone. I would put down two minutes and let it go. And then after a while, I'm like, fuck this. I'm just going to hit this bell when, it, when I think it's dipping. And Doug can just go, oh, okay, it, we got to move on. Yeah. And it, it, it's kind of, that's a polite way of doing it. It, it. it takes it off of Doug. Sure, they did that on the gong show. It's exactly. very not humiliating that you suck as a guest <laughs> well, no, at all. No, you, it's time to <laughs> move on. That's not the, the, the point. is like people shouldn't be on the spot to tell a good story. But yeah. when the guy comes up from the fucking crematorium yes. or the guy with the, takes out his glass eye and has his fucking wife put oh, it yeah, back in with her mouth. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I'll give you a few extra minutes. Yeah, Successfully yeah. got it into his... Yeah, uh, I wasn't watching. Someone told me about it. Uh, you turned gross. away, did yeah. you? It's uh-huh. <laughs> gross. Uh, it can be done, though, Doug. Yeah, but I don't want people that are on there. If we just want to sh- sh- stop it and say hello, you don't have to fucking entertain us. Oh God! But we'll spend a little, a few extra minutes with the ones. Sure, that do. but but then yeah, exactly. Then those that'll be a quicker. 
We were gonna Call. go to Guy. He was in there. Oh yeah. And uh, he waved he, us he off. Waved us off. Like, no, I just want to listen. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's whenever you guys pulled me up on that first one, and I was like, "Oh, put these. I'll be in the chat. Don't fucking right. put these motherfuckers on. Yeah, I want to hear these stories. Let, let us know any of the Bisbee regulars that uh, you have uh, questions for or stories for. We'll drag in a Kenny yeah, or a Derek. Yeah, in the or chamber. Or anything if you want. Joby's well, in the mood. It, it's. I realized. I realized when I were doing the the Twitch stream. And start interacting with people and how interesting, you know, everybody else, you know, fucking story is that people have that are listening to us. And uh, uh, t- to see it on a such a big level, you know, a larger platform, you know, where your fans are fucking doing for mortuary and that creepy dude in his fucking uh, no in shirt Taiwan. in Taiwan. <laughs> Deeks. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, uh, it was a good time. So He I was back. It. Yeah. He had three costume changes. <laughs> well, if you called shirtless a costume. I yeah, he, this camera angle, he looked like a fucking cancer patient. He looked terminally ill, shirtless. He's in a profile but profile he... thing. It was kind of weird. I thought maybe he was missing an ear or something for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of weird thing. <laughs> it turns out he was on mushrooms. He's peaked right when we went on live. <laughs> yeah. That's why he was grinning ear to ear the whole time. I, I, I'm still like kind of reticent to do mushrooms, but... Uh, when I get high like I was last night, it's no different than tripping to me. And I don't know why mushrooms... I think it's the puking thing. Like I, 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 Half the time, I'll puke yeah. right off the bat, and I don't want to do that. It doesn't make you unhappy when you're high and puking, though. It never bothers me. I puke a lot on mushrooms. <laughs> Often, I mean. I don't, I, don't, I don't puke very much on mushrooms. I don't... I, uh... But I, I, I don't see... It's all see, that pomegranate you drink. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't have anything left to puke up, usually, is the thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I yawn a lot on mushrooms. Yeah. It's the only thing yeah. I ever do. But I, I gave I, I, I shit, shit on Derek for fucking coming over and drinking all our fucking nine ninety nine a fucking handle cheap vodka when he did bring us for fresh squeezed pomegranate. If you had to buy that, like mm. in the fucking yeah, that's probably like. Sixty dollars worth of pomegranate, and it's a lot of effort to get that juice out of those fucking pomegranates. Yeah, yeah. and I don't even like pomegranate, but if it's fresh squeezed, fuck yeah, or free, she makes it good. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's just the it's it's the principle of the thing, Derek. You've been here. You were the first one here and the last one out. Hey, and you're acting like you want to stay over because walking fucking eight houses down is out of your. You're too drunk. Yeah, he got a ride last night. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that's right. Gil gave him a ride. Yeah, who do you want to? Who do you? Who should we get? Who should we? Who haven't we had on in a while? That's around. That will come in the house without masks. I know that when we pose that, or when something comes up on Twitter, it's usually Margo or something, which she's. She's yeah. had health issues. Oh, yeah. I don't think we. No, that wouldn't be good. Oh well, yeah. Last time, Margot, it, it took three of us to get her into the suburban, and then into our house. What? It took Chad and the two drivers. <laughs> I had I had to help carry Margot in her house, and Margot was flirting with me. And I have to tell you, <laughs> if I wasn't married, I might have went for it. <laughs> it's a story. She's a handsome woman. <laughs> She's around. like eighty-two now. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking solid broad. <laughs> Maybe we should do a a, a poll on uh, on uh, Patreon. Find out because uh, then we can control the three people that that. Yeah, we. I want to get fucking Michael Bean on just to hang out. I don't want to like Does he interview. Want him? Uh, he's well, uh, the mutual friend that put us together is saying you should definitely get him on the podcast. And then when I first started talking to them, the wife was like. Yeah, I heard about a podcast, and he can't do it. He's got something coming out, and until then, he can't. And I'm like, no, I don't. I wouldn't ask you to podcast. Yeah, like, yeah come I just over. leave it. He is obviously knows you have one. Yeah, so. no, he was asking me some questions about the podcast yeah. yesterday. He's curious about it, and I think he's listened to it. So, I mean, he has a fun time when he's here, and I hear you guys out there laughing and telling stories, I'm barely paying attention to football. It's like, don't fuck with that, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's weird just because he's new meat. Like we don't yeah. talk to each other. We sat out there for a full fucking all the early games, basically silent, just staring at the TV until he showed yeah. up. Because wh- what am I going to ask you? What you've been up to? It was Where a, you're from? It was a weird atmosphere, Shaley. It know. was uh, it was I odd. Told Doug last it, week. I, I was the one trying to watch football. In the- <laughs> 
Do you guys shut up? I'm trying to pay attention to this red zone. I don't understand it. <laughs> it's confusing Keep me. flipping around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's yeah, that's where the edibles have come in, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying football. Week two, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, you know, when you realize, okay, that's three nights a week, and one of them's a full day in the night. Yeah, that just just kind of fucked up my whole vacation here, my COVIDcation. Yeah, I, I definitely could see how being having to be social every time football was on. I think you know that's a but that's the social distancing. Yeah, that's helps a good, that a lot for sure. Well, when people listen or don't just show up, do you still have that uh, wanderlust going on where you were going to do a ditch bag? Nope, that's it. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> that yeah, is. it just takes one fucking solid hangover. I just I was going to stay in bed till four, except I had to drive Murphy to her car. And then it started getting hot when the sun starts hitting that side of yeah. the house. Just sitting in bed under my eight fucking comforters. I'm like, oh, I'm starting to sweat. Is this COVID? No. There's this fucking Arizona sun shining on the back of your fucking skull in your bed. And you're under fucking eight comforters. Probably not a fever. Uh, I, I, I laid there this morning from about 5.30. Wait, I woke up. Yeah, in the guest house, in the little house. And... uh about 5.30, and it was not quite light yet. And I'm like, it's going to be cold if I fucking ride my motorcycle home right now. Mm. So I laid there and waited till 7. I was like, all right, it's like about 60 degrees. That'll be good. It was fucking hot. <laughs> I was sweating my fat ass before I even got on my bike. I'm like, fuck, I should have left it. And laying there in the dark like an asshole. We are going into uh, the month number seven here. I think I'm going to break down and just fucking go to Safeway at some point. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. I I hate all the the deals that my uh my shopper is missing. She's not getting me discount meat. No. She doesn't have an eye for a bargain. She doesn't clip coupons. I used to clip coupons. <laughs> There's a uh, yeah, maybe I'll tell I'll tell Shaley. There's an app that Safeway has. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah got it. Cuz I know uh Fury, I'll go visit Fury sometimes, and that motherfucker will just give me a grocery bag of stuff, and he'll be like, oh, I won't eat this stuff, but I know your grandkids might eat it. And they, it was on my app for like 20 cents, so mm-hmm. I could not buy it. So I'm like, oh, thanks, man. It first came out, I tried using it, and then I'm like, yeah, it was the, really the, the checker didn't even know uh-huh. how. I don't know. It's like, yeah. do you work here? Because you're standing where a person who works here would stand. And then uh, I, I got it again because we had there, we had something in the cart, and they're like, "If you got the app, that's like almost free." And so I quickly got it's the like app. same as the fucking Google Nest. They want to fucking track your shit. I'm not gonna no. You keep your fucking twenty cent fucking mm-hmm. well, cheese limit one. I don't. They're tracking your shit no matter what. I, I want know. my twenty but cent also, cheese whiz. They use that tracking to make better purchases. But the point both. is, you shouldn't have to be the fucking guy with a smartphone that gets the fucking cheap deal. It, that it's available to everyone. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, we've, how would you get it with the app, without the there's, app? There's a way. They can't have it just for right. That makes phones. sense. Yeah, the yeah. homeless guys are wandering like in there like, on it too. Like, like if you get it, like a Pepsi would have a contest. You don't have to buy a Pepsi to right. win. You, but have, you to have to mail go in. a bunch of shit yeah, to yeah. get it. Now, see this. Uh, I think this uh, is different. This falls under like fucking ladies' night rules. Yeah. Where they can give ladies free beer and not dudes or whatever. Just wear a skirt. I know Becker would throw shit hemorrhages, and they'd say, "No, sorry, that's." Yeah. I, and I, I tried Just, that, but I have to do the do it with a smile because I fucking. You're a stockholder. No, I know. I, I know not to shit where I eat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, fucking Becker's throwing fucking tantrums like he's in L.A. He'll never see the same people again. Mm-hmm. No, you can't do that. Yeah, we only have one grocery store here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it tough. Yeah, he used to have the uh, the co op <laughs> like as a default. If you got eighty six from Safeway, I guess you could live out of the co op, but that's gone. <laughs> I I went grocery shopping in East Berlin once in eighty nine, right when the wall went down. The co op looked like a bad version of an East Berlin grocery store. <laughs> it just got there was so it's like. Are these shelves for sale? Because there's nothing on them. Because you know, <laughs> there's a might ginger want to buy root. It. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> well, you, you go in and you get something like a, 
like a barley corn tvp is a is a, a textured vegetable protein it's a very common thing for people that are vegan or vegetarian right and they'd be out of it yeah weeks in a row it's like are yeah. you buying one sack at a time every tuesday it's gone but yeah. you don't have any until it's that fucking was, crazy yeah newt was the same newt yeah newt that's the other huge. thing very common we were having a long conversation before uh, the beans showed up and started the party about uh uh, hard-boiled uh, uh, deviled eggs. Deviled eggs, yeah. And it went on for like 25 minutes. <laughs> and I go, this is what people like, say, hey, I really want to come down to the fucking compound <laughs> in the fun house and party with you guys. Well, that's what you're missing out on. 25-minute conversations about deviled eggs and how paprika, I don't think, has a flavor, but it does really make the deviled egg <laughs> smoke paprika. Yeah. Don't know, but it really just missing that the visual, that's, the presentation. That's not the part. The part that everybody would love is I, I'm, to make everybody jealous is what Tracy and I got to see last night. Stanhope giggling, fucking giddy, saying shit that he would. It was just out of character, which fucking was so funny. <laughs> I, I remember wheezing uh, I, I, like that cartoon I, dog. I can't even repeat Mut- any of the stuff yeah. we were laughing at. It's so funny, though. I, I I get so much happier on edibles, but I also say the worst fucking things. <laughs> you were like, in good company last <laughs> night. We had a good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. no, I well, fun. The, the second the the last game was over. Then we watched the Harlem Glo- Globetrotters biopic. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even come in here for that because all the fucking TVs were yeah, on yeah. and it was, oh, it was overstimulating. It was dead silent in here. We were just sitting here glued to this 1951 movie. Yeah, that was funny. But after that, Tracy's like, hey, uh, you ready to go? And I'm like, yeah, let me finish this thing I was doing here. And I like 10 minutes later, I go out there and you guys are all sitting at the patio laughing. And I'm like, okay, Tracy, ready? And she's like, yeah, let me just finish one more drink with Doug. And it was like two hours later, I'm on the couch. I'm going, I'm going to bed. I, and she's like, yeah, I'm coming down into bed. This is pretty funny what Doug's doing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had a weird fucking epiphany about that. Like, Tracy might get in trouble if she doesn't go. I'm like, we don't have those kind of relationships. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking spinning out on this. <laughs> Tracy's old man is going to yell at her. Yeah. Well, she prompted let's go and then was two and a half hours later when she came yeah. back down but yeah. that just was like that's how much fun she was having because I go is Chad still there she's like oh yeah we're just listening to Doug yeah <laughs> that was a very fun time <laughs> that went on that was my first uh, uh, edible Doug uh, deep experience oh, really? like that oh, wow. yeah yeah I have, it happens uh, nightly here yeah yeah, it was not that deep. But. We we had to stop him from tweeting all the things he was thinking, and they were. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get on my Twitter. That was a good thing. Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, was... no, I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't get on Twitter. No, no, you didn't. You yeah, because my computer was not in bed with me. <laughs> That's when I wake up next to the laptop. I'm like, ooh, either either there's a sock that needs washed. <laughs> 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 or I tweeted some, or both. Shame is happening. Yeah, regardless. a couple nights ago, I I know I went on a Twitter tear, and I didn't look at it in the morning because I still I didn't I don't remember what I tweeted, but I knew I felt good about it in the morning. Uh, so I didn't I didn't uh, turn over any stones and go back and look. Well, most of your late night uh, <clears throat> high tweets are not controversial in any way. You're, you're, uh, well, you deleted that one. Is uh, from well, the graffiti. Oh, which I, 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 you know, here's the thing. I have a, a weird relationship with uh, disrespect. Yes, and it's where my anger comes from, and I understand that. I just don't know how to fix it. But when something like that, and when someone's disrespectful in a way like that, it makes me very angry. But and I, I don't. I, I, she showed up on the happy hour. Yeah, she did. Do you want to tell the background? Because I, I, she explained herself very well. Oh, you, you, you go ahead. You, well, she, we, I was down in she the was little a house, comedian. and there was some some uh, graffiti. Had someone had graffiti in the little house, the place where you stay. I was like over by where the the, the little desk there. Right. And I'm like, who the fuck are these people? And how did they? Who did this? Right. It's just such an odd thing. Yeah. 
And then we couldn't figure out who it was. And they dated it. <laughs> First and last name. Gotcha. Still didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it took a little bit, but you know, that's what nighttime's for. Yeah. Yeah. And then Doug tweeted something, and then he realized he was mad about something else and gave her the vitriol. And then he deleted it. And then she showed up on the uh, happy hour tweet on Zoom on Fridays. And uh, she she made it, uh, she stood her ground and she goes, I am very sorry. I would never, you know, disrespect you in any way. I just wanted, I mean, I signed my name and, and I, I, I don't, did she That's say, not a good argument. Her argument was, <laughs> what was her argument? I'm I don't, she didn't have one. She was, she was very nice and it was, it was a thing where. I do remember that she I, doesn't normally drink, but she had a couple, okay, so she's a little giddy. And, and I, I was trying to tag I, the side of a building. I could definitely see where being caught up in being here at the fun house, if you know, on a party night is exciting. And if you haven't, and it is a green room and you would do, you know, and, and it, and it is kind of a thing that Stanhope might've done when he was younger. Exactly. That's why so, I so it makes it, dial myself it makes back. it difficult. Yeah. But I, I, all that logic aside, I'll tell you what that makes me. If people are disrespectful yeah. like that, it makes me mad. Like you, I don't know. Do you remember she the? Apologize. Do, do you? I don't know if you remember the fridge at uh, Johnny's house, the one we stayed in, and all those fucking this sharpie along the. I forget how it started, yes. but. It was like a story Every, that everybody added to. Added a word to that yeah. sounded kind of like the word before it. Yeah. And that went on until it hit the floor. It was started at six feet high and went down over a course of months. And I didn't start that, but I'm the one that piled on when he had written like three words. I still, I've, I don't know yeah. what they were, but. That, that's I, a I'm completely sure. different thing. Yeah. <laughs> that might be cool. We should start that here. Right? <laughs> When I was in high school, I had a, a, a friend whose parents were really cool, and they let him have, like, a wall that we could all write and yeah. draw and shit on uh, in his room. And I always... Gallon of kills. I Knock that, it right out. Yeah. I always yeah, thought that was pretty deal. decent. I, if, if if I had the the wall and the wherewithal, uh, I, I would do, a, like, the comedy club the old headshots of comedians. Oh. Yeah. Fucking Louis C.K. Uh, for decades, I want to say, had his headshot was from when he was a teenager from one of those photo booths at the fucking yeah, yeah. Pismo Beach. <laughs> it's just him, like a goofy shot from one of those four strips that come out for a dollar. <laughs> he used that until he was in his 30s or 40s as a headshot. I would love to have old headshots like that on a wall, but. That's the Down King. Under in Greeley. Well, Remember it, that one? Yep. That had the best. South, but not South no, Bend. Uh, Fort Wayne yeah. had all the work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we well, we yeah, we play a lot of a lot of clubs that have 1980s comics headshots. Oh. Who's here? Is it time to go? I think I'm uh, getting close. Five oh five. All right. It's Murph. Curb your dog. Murphy, we're about to close up this podcast. Do you want to add anything? Yep, she says hi from a distance. All right, strike up that TV. I think uh, Thursday night is, I don't know, is it Channel 4 or 206? or We'll find it. Monday it's Monday night. night. There's so much for oh, your knowing so what day it is. Much for know. knowing the days of the week again. <laughs> don't forget to check the eBay yard sale. Every week we've got something. It's at Stanhope <clears throat> underscore podcast on eBay. And that uh, is the only legitimate seller of Doug Stanhope uh, eBay yard sale. Is Stanhope underscore podcast is the seller. So make sure it's that. Some guy's trying stuff. to fucking resell jackets I sold on old fucking eBay yard sales for for charity. Yeah, sure. But eh, that's not us. That's not us. Hey, uh, check out my Twitch channel. Yes. Uh, it's at my uh, pin tweet at HD Fatty. If you've uh, been a subscriber and never checked it out, I appreciate it. Keep doing it because my subs are dropping really low. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We're starving here. All right, Bingo, take us out of this. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs>